Okay, so this is how to use the new calendar for mum. So the starting point is on your laptop or desktop dead. Um, you've got your Gmail open, that's the starting point. I'll cover how to use your iPads and phones in a separate video, but we'll just deal with your laptops and desktops first. So um, up here in Google, there's nine little dots and that's where all the Google programs are. So to open the calendar, you click on the nine dots and there'll be a calendar icon somewhere. So if I do that, that opens up my calendar. So I've created a calendar, which is over here. It's called Fun for Mum, and it's shared with everybody. So the way Google calendars work is that they have got lots and lots of layers. So here's my layer. So if, for example, I'm going for a bike ride on Sunday or Saturday, um, that's there, that's my bike ride. But if I want to make something from mum on Wednesday, so there might be a concert, I would drag and drop to concert, but I need to select the mum calendar. So when I select that, you can see it's a different color. And by doing that, that means that that event, which is the concert for mum on Wednesday, is visible to everybody who's shared into this calendar, which of course is Aiden and Sarah and Jane and Barbara and Dad. Now, if, for example, this event um, has got some unusual times, if you click on it, and it might start at 12.20, and it might finish at 1.40, so you could put that in. If, for example, it was a regular thing that happened every week, you could repeat it, um, maybe not that. And if you wanted the location, you could put that in, but maybe not for dairy. So now that that event is in there, everybody can see it. And so what this means is that if Jane wants to add something in here, so she might do, you know, there might be a movie, um, I don't know, she might be showing a movie or something like that. She would then select that. If Aiden was taking her out for afternoon tea, tea so we could say afternoon tea with Aiden. Um, that would go there and then once again we're choosing the right calendar. So over a period of time you'll build up a whole sequence of events that um, everyone can see and we can all get a good overview that things aren't too clumped together uh, nor are they too far apart. So I'm hoping that that explains how to use Google Calendar on your desktop or laptop. So I'll do another video as to how to set it up on your um, iPads and phones and things like that. So hopefully that's good enough. Let me know if it's not.